how you became no, this. I'm serious. She actually broke my virginity. Oh yeah, yeah. No, that's. No, no like. Yeah. When Jama gets on your people, man, you are such a low life. Mzokjela today. Like, seriously, it's, it's important for you to say. Honest, honestly speaking, she broke my virginity. Honestly, honestly, that was my first girl. Uh, oh, wow. First, in large people that was not even circumcised. Fuck you. And then I remember a story that my dear source once told me about um, Owami's um, home situation. You know that she's been going to court with the father because the father doesn't want to support her sisters or her. They've always just been outcasted. I was like, aha, that is why oh, I'm so cheesed off and believe that. Promise, better support those kids. We slim, we Maybe when I go out there and try find out who is your father, because we all know your mother, Bega is very She was telling me who is Bega she told me most, and then you heard it, and then that's why you were angry. Um, jail, okay? Um, 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 if you want. Stay the fuck away from my parents. You understand? Hello everyone, thank you for turning on the blue light. Now, I just want to highlight a few things about Big Guy and the interview that he did with Promise. Now, a lot of people on that video of Promise were saying Big Guy is an intelligent man, you know, the way he carries himself, the way he does things, the way he says things. I beg to differ. I don't agree that that guy has some sort of intelligence. When If he has any of that, it is because he has a degree. That I can give him. Um, credit for but as for the things he was saying i don't think that guy has any intelligence and i want to prove it to you so point number one that i don't think a oh, big guy is intelligent is because to start with the reason why promised called him to do a, an interview with him is because promise is an enemy of owami and then she's having a fallout with owami that's the only reason why Promise wants to do the interview. It is never about Big Guy's side of the story. It is never about Big Guy or Big Guy's family. Promise does not care what's going to happen to Big Guy after the interview or whatever. It is all, all, only about the fight that he she is having with Owami and she wants to prove a point. Do you understand? So, who Big Guy cannot tell who these people are using me. You know, because of the anger that he has against Owami, because of the things that Owami said about him, then he allows women to play him like a tennis ball. You know, they're passing him around, like um, Len passing him to promise to say, take this guy, interview him. He is Owami's ex-husband and all of that. And then he allows that. You know, because who promised, uh, came out and told us that, you know, thank you to learn for, um, you know, connecting me to big guy and all of that. Yes, you see that tossing you like a ball. You are allowing ladies to toss you like a ball like that. So that's not being intelligent for me at all. And then another point is when he said, oh, by the way, you know, Owami broke my virginity when I was 21. Who does that? Like, really? He She broke your virginity. And then, <laughs> you know, so now this makes me imagine Owami on top of big guy breaking the virginity. You understand? Really? I mean, I'm now imagining, you know, Owami eating a lot of pap from... Then after the pap, broom, pa, on top of um, big guy breaking a virginity. You see, what now, this thing is just not happening. I mean, I it was pointless for him to say that. I mean, like, what kind of... Uh, 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 like, what was the significance of him to say that? Was it really necessary? You know, unprovokedly so. Promise never asked him about any virginity. He's just bringing it up because he's just not intelligent. Ah, anyway, this guy is one person who will say, I don't want to say something, but yet continue and say it. Like when he said, um, Owami will, make up, will wake up and then make up and then do a video. And then Promise asked her, was she bathing? You know, and then he says, no, ha, 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 we are not fighting. We are not fighting. He doesn't want to say, yes, he was bathing or no, she was not bathing. You know what I mean? She wants us to just read between the lines. You know, she is giving us this information, but then she doesn't want us to think that this information is from him. 
He wants us to think that we are thinking that he's saying things that he's not saying. We are one of the there's no intelligence there at all. Do you understand? And then with promise also, promise knew this information because this kind of information was given to learn last year when Big Guy was giving his side of the story in uh, Lenda Kyle's uh, channel. Do you understand? He already said this thing. So for promise to say, was she not bathing? She knew that big guy was going to say no because she just wants to prove a point again. She just wants to gain something. She just wants us to look at Owami like a woman who's not bathing. Do you understand where I'm going with this thing? Yes. By the way, and then he continues to say witchcraft. And then he said, the way I was too good to her, a lot of people were thinking that maybe... Owami bewitched me, you know, she used African medication on me. And then when Promised asked him, did, do you think she did it? And then he says, um, the fact that I cannot prove it, therefore I cannot say she did it. You know what I mean? What does that mean? She's, he's again making us read between the lines, you know? So the fact that I cannot prove it, you know, even if you go to Insagoma, they told they tell you that somebody bewitched you. The fact that you can't prove it, therefore you cannot say he did it. But do you believe that he did it or not? He doesn't want to say that. He's making us think that Owami is a witch. He's making us think that Owami did it. But he doesn't want to say that I'm the one who's giving you this information. Like, why in the first place are you mentioning it if you don't want us to think about it? If you don't want us to know about it, the one, the only reason you are saying it is because you want us to look at Owami like a witch. You know what I mean? The same way right now, when I look at Owami, I think, did she really bath? She's looking beautiful and, you know, makeup and all that, but did she really bath? So he wants us to think that of her. You understand? Simply because she's made a lot of videos about him, you know, negatives and all of that. And, um, you know, I'm not saying that um, Owami is right or whatever, but I'm just saying Ubika is the same as Owami as well. They are the same WhatsApp group together with that promised lady. Do you understand? So there's no intelligence or whatsoever that you guys think um, Big Guy has. You know, because it is what he wants us to think about Owami that makes him evil. You know, it is not about how he says it. You know, he says evil things about Owami in a most polite way. You know, he is not saying swear words like Owami does. You know what I mean? You know, he is just humble and jay. You know, the way he's conducting himself in saying the negative things. It does not mean that he's intelligent. It does not mean that he is not angry. It does not mean that he is not evil. And he doesn't want us to know evil things about Owami. Do you know what I mean? Just because he's polite and all that, it does not mean that he says good things. And just to put a cherry on top to prove that this guy has got no intelligence or whatsoever... He plays an audio of Owami insulting his own mother to the core. Who does that? Who does that? You do not repeat a bad word that somebody said about your mother. Owami calls Big Guy's mother is Febe, and then Big Guy comes with that audio and then plays it on the internet. You know what I mean? I know there's a lot of bad things that Owami said about um Big Guy's mother and all of that. He fails to protect his own mother. You don't go and repeat some something so bad about your own mother. You know, the fact that he played that audio, it's, it means he's, he's repeating it. He's repeating what Owami said about his own mother. You know, And the way he was just listening to the audio there on studio, I was like, man, are you stupid or are you stupid? Really? You're putting your mother in this kind of circumstance. You take somebody else's insult about your mother to the internet. Like, really? Like, seriously, you know, so there's no intelligence there or whatsoever. Upi guy is just as angry as Owami, is just as unhappy as Owami, I don't know. But I don't think, Uguti, the credit that you guys are giving him, he's deserving it at all. The fact that he's being tossed like a ball between Abo Lane and then Abo Promise, and then we don't know who's next who's going to be having a fallout with Owami to do an interview for big guy to give his side of a story. Until when is he going to give his side of a story? Because we already heard his side of a story from last year with Linda Kyle. He still gives his side of a story again this year. Next year he's going to do it again. So whatever it is that Owami is doing, he's also doing it. 
So all I'm saying is if Owami is dumb, then big guy is cop. Then together they make a beautiful dumb copness. Do you understand? So the both of them are not so intelligent, you know, because Owami doesn't want to stop making videos about big guy. And then big guy is retaliating like this, you know. I mean, if he has his own platform to do it, if he makes his own videos to say, look, Owami, I tried to tell you to stop making videos about me. Stop making videos about me. You know what I mean? If he just makes videos to ask Owami to stop making videos about him, it's better than being interviewed by women who are angry at Owami and they want to get back at Owami because they have got nothing to lose, like I'm saying. You know what I mean? They just want to go for Owami with anything that they can. Big guy is there to help them. Do you understand? So he's just helping women fight battles to another woman, you know, which makes him a man in the middle. You know what I mean? It, it, so I wonder how he ends up being a YouTube puppet. He ends up being a YouTube puppet, you know? And then they are passing him around, like, take him, you know, interview him. Take him, interview him. Hi, man. So a guy intelligent, Honomo. Huh? If you're going to be the man in the middle of women's fight, intelligent, a guy, Honomo. There's no intelligence at all. At all. You know what I mean? Because anyway, mm -hmm. listen, gentlemen, that's all I have for now. Do leave your comment letting me know what you think of this. Otherwise... Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe and thank you for listening.